Okay, we are trying to go live in two spots yet, guys. Woo -woo. <laughs> Sorry. Um, excuse me as I type this in on Instagram. Hi, you guys, on Facebook. I'm so sorry. We're almost there, you guys. Hey there. And pin the comment. All right. Hi, you guys on Facebook. Sorry. I'm sharing my desktop on Facebook, and then I've got the face on on Instagram. I'm just making sure that I'm not missing anything. Okay, got it, you guys. All right, so um, whether you guys can stay for all of this, I'm thinking maybe 10, 15 minutes, it might be more or less. Sometimes I just talk too much and I'm so sorry, but I just like to make sure people understand things. Um, but if you can't stay for it all, I am gonna download this by tomorrow-ish and um, have it on YouTube for a YouTube link because those of you guys who are on Instagram cannot see my screen, but I'll turn it around periodically so that you guys can um, see it. So hold on for a second. Let me make sure I've got everything rolling and I'll show you guys on Instagram um, what this looks like. So I'm so sorry, you guys, but I'm going, I'm going to be going through like this. So in the even you group on Facebook, I'm in there, but let's go, you guys. So <clears throat> we're going to talk about this client. Um, I will show you guys and talk to you about her stats. She came to me at 196 pounds. Um, she is 51, 5'5", five, five, and um, when she came to me, she was not currently tracking. Um, she was previously on a vegan plan, Weight Watchers, um, some other type of like food prep company, like food prep, yeah, you know, company preps the food, packaged food kind of stuff um, in the past and about 10K steps-ish per day and then working out like anywhere from one to three days per week. Let me kind of move this around. Hold on, you guys. There we go. Okay, cool. So in the past year, her highest weight was 195, 196. Her lowest um, weight um, was 180 pounds. So her weight had been going between 180 and 196, 5'5", five, five, 51, and her lowest ever was 175 pounds. And when she was at a 175 pounds, she said she felt her most comfortable but she was mostly running and it became really, really hard to keep up with that. So definitely comment if you guys comment if you guys have ran in the past um, as a form of exercise or to lose weight. And then when you stopped running, the weight came back on. So definitely remember that her lowest weight ever with tons of running, tons of running was 175 pounds. Um, but her biggest hurdle was with nutrition. Nutrition and being consistent with it was her biggest hurdle. And she wanted to make a change right now so she could feel better about herself. And she said basically, you know, she would eat two to three meals per day. It was LA weight loss she did. She would eat two to three meals per day. And then at dinner time, it was kind of whatever was there. And then she would go off of the go off track with sweets. And she was pretty much an all or nothing type of dieter, which I I talked about in my fat loss workshop last month. So she was either all the way in on top of it, doing what she needed to do, eat clean, running all the time, or it was like not doing any of that stuff. So if you guys can relate, let me know. So again, 
51 years old, um, 5'5", 196 pounds when she started. So I'm going to go over to her check-in sheet. Um, this is the check-in sheet that we use for G Transformation Academy clients. So her very first week, um, we put her at, sorry, move this around, you guys, at... 1700 calories for week number one and um, her protein was like 137 protein 155 carbs and 60 fat again these numbers are specific to her and not just the stats that you guys have given me it's also with additional um you know private information that she has given me about herself her dieting history what her numbers and things were like food habits food choices and everything so you can come to us and be the same age this height and weight and your macros may be very different um and that's because when you come to work with us in the beginning um i warn people that when I interview you on the phone and we get ready to write your program, whether it's with me or Coach Kate or Kelly or Jeanette, it is going to be like a nutritional interrogation, meaning I'm going to ask you a whole bunch of questions to make sure that your macros are exact. And any of my coaches in macro mentorship know that's how I get down and I call it metabolic detective work. Um, so I want to show kind of like on this graph here of where her calories and things were. Started her at 1,700, very first week. She ate about 1,500 calories. And at the end of completing two weeks, she went from 191 to 188 pounds. And she was eating more food than she thought she had ever eaten to be losing weight and actually make some results and progress. And so I was actually pushing her to eat a little bit more. So week three, she went from 188 to 170, 187. At week five, 186. Week six, 185. Week seven, 185. And for those of you guys that are like looking um, on um, Facebook or you're looking in the future on the YouTube video these are the averages of macros for her so these are not her individual macros so if you guys are seeing you're seeing 140 grams of carbs 150 160 um, there's no inky dinky amount of carbs that we are giving to our clients so just so you know keto is like 25 carbs and she's basically eating um, what would I say, five or six times that. We have clients come to us eating 60, 70, 90 carbs. Um, on some of her high carb days, she's eating 180 to 200 grams of carbs. Again, specific to her and her activity. And if you're looking on Facebook as I'm going live, she's went from week eight down to 184, week nine, 183, week 10, 181, week 11, 179, week 12, 178, week 13, 178. She is not doing cardio. So let that sink in. She is not doing cardio and she did not start lifting until week eight. So she went from 191 to 184 pounds in eight weeks, not lifting weight. So now she's lifting about three days per week and she is tracking um, she is tracking her steps and she's taking about an average of 10k steps per day. So let me show you guys the very last like weekish or so. Um, sorry I'm scrolling down you guys do 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 getting there. And then we did a, a week of a diet break where we brought all of her carbs up. So if you guys are looking at week number 13, we did a diet break. We brought all of her carbs up. We increased all of her calories every single day. Before the diet break, she was 179 pounds on August 25th. And then on September 6th, which was, do the math, do the math. 11 days later, after upping her food, she went from 179 to 175. People plateau because there's no diet breaks, there's no carb cycling, and there's no reverse dieting. So if you guys are watching on Instagram, or sorry, on Facebook, you'll see 
her cardio is just 10K steps per day, and she's only lifting two to three days per week. So remember what I said, um, you know, at the beginning, her lowest weight ever was 175 pounds. And with taking steps and with eating more food than she usually eats, eating tons of carbs, and then adding some lifting about eight, week, eight weeks in, in 14 uh, weeks, we got her to her lowest weight. So this is only the beginning for her. Um, we're working on a body recomposition change. And just in case you guys are curious, um, she is down 14.6 um, pounds and 12.5 inches which is amazing. So all of her numbers, her programming, um, you know, her, um, you know, personal goals that I set every week are custom to her. So if you're watching, definitely just don't dive in and set your numbers at this because they may not work for you. Um, more than likely they won't because I'm also taking some of her food preferences um, into consideration because she used to be plant-based and isn't a, you know, number one fan of eating meat. And so we had to make sure that we found the right macros that fit with what she wanted to eat and we also had to find the, the right macros that were able to get her results without forcing her to have to eat tons and tons of meat which is um, ridiculous so um, that is it for today you guys if you are someone that is wanting to work with us one-on-one -on -one, we got four coaches and we are killing it with our clients and their transformations you can go to gtransformationacademy.com and apply for coaching and if you are a coach who is watching this and and you're wanting to really get better at doing macro calculations and get your clients results like this without having them eat under 100 grams of carbs per day, do 60 minutes of cardio five days a week, even five days of cardio at 30 um, minutes per day every single week. I do have a free workshop coming up in two weeks and it is... Um, how to be a macro nutrition expert and how to market your services. And so if you guys go to gtransformationacademy.com backslash macro expert, I'll be teaching that class to people who want to become a coach or people who are already are a coach and really want to kind of see what they might be doing wrong. Um, so I'll get this uploaded to um, YouTube for you guys to see. If you have any questions, um, you can go to our website, contact us, gtransformationacademy.com. And I will see you guys on social media soon. Bye, guys.